So let's start out with our first color, which is going to be pink. So in your art box, find the color pink. And today I'll be using crayons, but you can use anything you have available in your art box. And once you find that pink, let's go ahead and use it on a few different parts for our Beanie Boo honeycomb, starting out with the left ear. So on the inside part right in here, you want to take that pink and let's color in and outline and make sure we stay within the lines for the inside of the honeycomb's ear. So let's go ahead and color that in first and then we'll move on next to the right ear on the inside just like we did on the left side let's go ahead and color in the inside here with this pink just like so outlining it just to make sure you try to stay within the lines as best as you possibly can so let's go ahead and finish out with the second ear just like so and let's finish now with the pink on the middle for the tongue so right here we have the honeycomb's cute tongue we want to color that in with that same pink so it's a little less space here so just be careful take your time and just try to outline it and color it in with that pink so once you finish with honeycomb's tongue let's go on to the next color which is going to be tan so if you have a tan color in your art box or a light brown they will work just great so let's go ahead and use that light tan first we're going to do a quick outline because the honeycomb has two colors one color on top and another color on the bottom which is white so we want to separate that so we'll very easily make a quick outline first on the left eye here let's draw just a little line about midway through that eye so about middle of that eye let's make a little line just like this for ourselves so a little curved line and then on the right let's do the same thing just do the opposite try to make a mirror the other side just like that okay so you have two curved lines and now what we want to do is let's go back to our left line and we want to make a curved line that meets at the very left edge so right over here Let's just go ahead and make a curved line just like this, just like that. And it meets the little line that we just made. Okay, so you have a curved line and the little curved line that goes right into the eye. Now on this side, we're going to do the same exact thing. So just take your time when you're doing these lines and they do not have to be perfect. Just do the best you can with these lines and do your best. Just do your best and forget the rest. Have a fun time right here on Sam's Cool Colors. So once you have those lines, now we'll know exactly where to use this tan on the top part of our honeycomb. So we're going to use this tan now on all of the areas that are on the top of the lines we just drew in. So those lines we did on purpose just to give us the guide for where we want to stop coloring our honeycomb because below that line that we just made, we are going to leave honeycomb in white because the Beanie Boo honeycomb does have two colors on the face. So since we didn't have that line on the coloring page, we wanted to make sure we drew it ourselves. That's the fun thing here in Sam's School Colors. You can always be as creative as we want. So let's just continue to color around honeycomb's eyes just like that and use that tan as you go you have a little more room to work with here so just continue to color around this middle area and we're going to leave that in white just like that and color around those eyes we'll come back in a little while and color those in with some nice colors together First, let's finish out the rest of Honeycomb's face, just like that. And as we go, let's get close here to the ear on the top part using our tan, or if you have a light brown available, 
in that area. And we can continue to move along the right side of our page, just like that. And now we're stopping right where we drew that line. So same idea from what we did on the left side, we're doing on the right. So that line really helps us to separate the top part of Honeycomb's color versus the bottom. So everything back down here will stay in white, but let's move on down to Honeycomb's legs. So Honeycomb's legs will also be the same color. And so I'm just starting out with the back leg and I'll move my way over and just continue to color it in. We have a lot of nice room to work with. So let your hand be as free as possible making sure once you get to those edges you are staying within those lines as best as possible just like that you're all doing a terrific job today here at sam's cool colors and let me know in the comments if you want to see any other beanie boo characters here and we can do them step by step together in the future so we're finishing out now with Honeycomb's right legs. And once we finish out here, we have a few more spots we want to do on our very cute Beanie Boo coloring page. So let's go ahead and finish the last leg here on the back, just like that. And now we can move on to our next color which will be black. So take a moment to find black in your art box. And when you find black, we're going to use it on the inside of Honeycomb's eyes and also on the nose. So if you could see the sides of the insides of the eyes have these little circles. What we wanna do is actually leave these little circles in white and color in the main part, the main circle in black. So you may need to just be very careful around those tiny circles. If you have a sharpened crayon, it will help you a lot. Or if you have a marker, for example, that does have a nice thin point that will help as well. Either way, just take your time with it. It does not have to be perfect. Just do your best. And when you move around, just try to stay within the lines here. You see the lines of that, that circle, just like that. All right, great work. Now let's move on to the right eye. And when we do that, we're going to do the same thing here. So you see those little circles. We want to work around those. Don't color them in because we'll come in with another color in just a minute. And those little white circles will add to the look of the eyes with the two colors we're putting side by side with it so terrific work great so now let's go ahead and move on to honeycomb's nose so right in here we want to color in honeycomb's nose but let's leave these two little white spots there in the middle those circles there we want to leave those in white so let's just color around those just like this and that's going to give us a real nice effect that looks like a nose by leaving those little spaces in white. You see, just like that, beautiful. So now we are moving on to our final color, which is going to be blue. So if you have a regular blue or a bright blue like I have today with the Crayola Gel Effects color, take a moment to find that. And let's go and color in now the outside part of honeycomb's eyes so where we just colored in black we want to color outside of that and this area right here we're going to leave again those little circles in white and we're going to color in the rest of the eye to really give us a fun bright blue look on the eyes for our honeycomb so finish with that first eye and you can see the difference when you color it in with a really bright beautiful color 
in the eye. So now let's move on to the next eye with that blue in your hand. And take your time so you can try to try to stay within the line as best as you can. Just like that. And then outlining it and finishing it out like that. So now we finished coloring our Beanie Boo honeycomb together using four colors. 